Nah, he doesn't get back till tomorrow. But I finally got the kids into bed on time. Oh, lucky. I know, right? So I'm going to enjoy my wine, and I'm going to watch this ridiculously sappy, overly romantic movie. <laughs> yeah, while well, he's not there. <laughs> I know, right? He'd bitch all the way through it. Totally ruin it for me. Well, have a good time. All right. See you later, girl. It's not about following your heart. It's about security. When is that security? Right. Right. If you leave here, I hate you. Hey, you leave here, I hate you. Hey, you leave here. What the hell is that? It's Oh, holy shit. And that was the night I decided to buy a screen door. <laughs> this is not really the highest quality screen door in the world. I think it was not the cheapest one that they had available at the time, but it was close. Over time, the screen has gotten nicked up. You can see right there, right there, right up there, a few spots from just general wear and tear, the kids, the dog. You know, this is not the kind of hinge that has a pin at the bottom that you can just pop out and pull the door off, so I have to take it off the hinges. Whew. All right, there we go. Replacing the screen on a door or on a regular window screen is actually fairly simple. I've done this before. You just take out this little rubber seal that runs all along the edge. You just gently pull that out and you save it. You'll use it again later. If you accidentally rip it, they sell them at hardware stores. Phew. All right, I got it all out in one piece. Then this just pops right off. Ah. Now, one thing I definitely need to do is take this knob off so that it'll lay flat when I'm screening it. You can buy new rolls of screen at your home improvement store. This is a 36 by 84 inch, which would fit this as well as most windows. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with the aluminum this time. Normally I go with the vinyl, but because of the dog, I'm gonna go with the aluminum and see if that holds up better. I don't know, we'll see. Woo! <laughs> Now, you're also gonna need one of these little double-ended pizza cutter looking things. They're sold with the new screens. And one side has a sort of flat edge and the other side has a grooved edge. I think you can see that in there. And you're also gonna need your cording at this point. If there are still marks for the corners on your cording, make sure you line that up properly. That'll make things a little bit easier for you. And then you're gonna take your little pizza roller, the curved edge of it, the one that's got the groove in it. You're gonna take that and you line your cording up there and you push it in. It takes a little bit of effort. Now, you can see what I just did. I kind of pulled it a little tight there. You want to make sure you leave yourself enough space to, you want it to be tight, but you also don't want it to be so tight that you tear it. And that's kind of tricky with these, especially if you're using the vinyl kind. And sometimes it's good to just get it in there a little bit, and then you can go back later on and tighten it up a little. As you're going around and doing this, fight the temptation to pull the screen too tight. I know you want it to be snug, but once we're done with this, I'm gonna go around and push it in even farther. So you need to leave a little bit of extra space on your screen to be able to do that uh, without tearing it. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go around with the flatter edge of this thing and shove the cording in a little bit more to keep it nice and tight. Once you've got that cord in there, you can go around and trim the excess off really close. Uh, you can use regular scissors for this, but I am actually using these Fiskars metal shears that they sent me to test out. Uh, these, have, these are amazing. They'll cut through 16 gauge sheet metal like butter. You know, you could probably just use a box cutter on this too. So I've got this finished, but now that we've had the door down for a little while and we see how much brighter it is in our living room and the nice view that we have to our backyard, we're actually thinking that we're not even gonna put it back up. We'll see what happens uh, when mosquito season starts. One word of caution though, when you're doing this, keep your pets out of the way. My dog, Sally the Wonder Mutt, decided that she really had to get to the other side and she couldn't just go around it. So she stepped right on it and managed to wear a little hole right in the middle of it. So it's already damaged. Thanks a lot, dog. <gasps> you did not. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing makeup tutorial videos. Yes, queen. Look out, James Charles, I'm coming for you.
Oh, getting hot and humid out here, y'all. You're melting? Yeah. <laughs> She's melting! Ah!